Hey, aloha my internet family, how are you? It's Chris Russell from the Practical Printing Channel and I received this in the mail today. Uh, it's the prize for winning the Race to H2 contest a few weeks ago where several of us built the CME CNC H2 Hacker Series printers live uh, in a race on Jatman's Print 3D Tonight channel. Um, so I thought I would do a quick unboxing and maybe plug it in and see if we can get through the initial setup of this thing. And I thought I would try to uh, catch it on video so that all of y'all can see, all y'all, all y'all, all y'all can see what's, uh, what it does and um, what it looks like. I'm really excited. I've been using Octoprint for over a year now and it is a fabulous tool, but it is for power users. Um, there are some great tutorials out there on how to set up Octoprint, but Astroprint promises this is going to be much, much simpler. So without further ado, let's crack the seals on this thing. Um, I'm going to use a straight edge to cut through the tape. And we will crack it open and see what <clears throat> we have inside here. Oh. Very full box. Let's see what all we have here. Got a card labeled, Hey You, and uh, I think I need the glasses to help with this one here. Let's see, it says, Hey You, just to let you know, each component of your Astro Box Kit was gently taken from our shelves with sterilized, contamination-free gloves and placed onto a satin pillow. A team of 20 employees inspected your kit and infused it with a hint of lavender to make sure it was the best possible condition before shipping it to you. Then, our world-renowned packing specialist lit a local artisan candle and a hush fell over the crowd as he put your Astro Box kit into the finest cardboard box that money can buy. We all had a jubilant ceremony afterwards, and the whole team danced down the street to the post office where we all waved bon voyage to your package while trying hard not to tear up. We hope you enjoy your Astro Box as much as we enjoyed putting it together. In commemoration, we've placed your name inside a frame made entirely of sterling silver on the wall of our favorite Astro Print users. We're all exhausted, but cannot wait for you to start 3D printing with your new Astro Box. Thank you, thank you, thank you, the Astro Print team. Very, very clever. All right, let's see what else that we have here. We have Astro Box, the quick start guide. That is going to come in handy here in a few minutes. Um, power supply. I will set that piece aside. Looks like we have a micro SD card, a 8 gig SanDisk Ultra, so it's a quickie. Edimax N150 Wi-Fi adapter. chassis for the Raspberry Pi, little uh, separator there says powered by Astroprint, enjoy, and of course the Raspberry Pi 3. And that's everything except for the best part of the kit, the Astroprint sticker. That's definitely going to find a home somewhere. All right, well that's all the goodies. So uh, let's take a look at Putting these together quick, I will set that aside. We will crack open the case here. And notice I'm not looking at the guide yet. I'm trying to do this by, um, by feel. And of course it requires tools, which I happen to have just a hand reach away. So we have four little screws here. The printed case. And Mr. Pi. We will pop out the pie. Let's see how this fits in the case. That is the HDMI port. So it looks like it's going to do just. Somehow snap in, maybe. I don't want to break this. Hmm. 
Okay, this seems to be the most challenging part so far is getting this to line up. A bit ginger. There we go. A little bit of snap to it, and it's in. So I think we can safely put this piece here. That gives you access to where the SD card slot goes. Snap the top piece down, and I will reach over here for a tiny little screwdriver, which I just happen to have. Did not know this was needed. That was not planned. So bear with me. I will try to do this where y'all can see it. It's actually a fairly nice little Raspberry Pi case. I've printed out numerous ones on my own for various projects, including the OctoPrint OctoPi that I have running my other printers. Three down, one to go here. There we go, snug as a bug. Okay, let's pop open the SD card and we will insert that into the bottom here. Pop open the Wi-Fi adapter. It's like Christmas, I like to tear the boxes. To pop that in here. With all that set and done, we have it all ready to go. Now, I imagine that this sticker might be intended. No, maybe it's a little bit too big to go across there, unless I do a wrap or something. Uh, I'll play with that idea later. Hey, and we have the power supply. Now these power over a micro USB cable. Um, so you're not necessarily obligated to use this if you have five volts on an auxiliary rail of the power supply from your printer. Uh, you could always splice in a micro USB connector and use that. So now before I power this up, I am going to look at the quick start guide and see what it says. 
Step one, assemble, which we did. Step two, on board this side up, put the SD card in. Step three, plug in the Wi-Fi adapter into any of the four ports, which we did. And power up. So now let's power it up. And I see red and green blinking flashing lights down here. So let's set this aside for now. Step five, open communications. Using your phone, tablet, or computer, search for Wi-Fi networks. Join the AstroBox Wi-Fi network. This shouldn't take long, but in some cases may take a minute or two. So let's go to laptop here. And we have a lot of them in the neighborhood. I do not see Astrobox showing up yet, so we'll give it a second and we'll see if it does. There it is, Astrobox 3085. Shouldn't take long. Open a browser and go to the web address HTTP. 10, 10, 0, 1. 10, 10. 10, 10, 0, 1. Oh. Helps if I put a P and not an O. Welcome to your AstroBox. Thank you for purchasing. Okay. Begin setup. If you have more than one AstroBox, be sure to give them different names to prevent conflicts. So let's call this AstroBlock, AstroBox, AstroBox H2, since this is going on our H2 hacker series. Um, actually, let's change that. I've named him Bruiser, so let's call this AstroBox Bruiser. And that's going to be our URL on the network. Internet setup. Okay, now I tell it to join my network. You have to put in the password here. And hopefully I got my own password correct. And it's success. AstroBox is now connected to the internet. Turn hotspot off when a known network is found in the future. AstroPrint account. Okay, I went ahead and set one up in advance, so let's see if this works. If I can remember my password. Survey says we are in. Plug your printer's USB into the AstroBox and click continue with done. We're going to hit skip and configure later um, because I don't have the printer here. That's in the other room. So we will shoot another video uh, at a later date with uh, showing the inside of the AstroBox and its configuration. But it was that quick and simple to set it up. So we are going to call it quits for here. Um, I'd like to thank everybody for watching. Again, thank you for tuning in to Practical Print. Thank you, Astrobox, for sending this to me. I am very grateful, and I hope you all have a fabulous weekend. In the meantime, keep on printing Practical Prints. Aloha.